Hey guys, Mono here. Welcome to the shop. I want to share with you my latest project bike that I have been working on for the past weeks and tell you all the things that I have done to it. But before we go into that, let me show you what's currently going on in my shop. It's been over a year since I opened and so far so good my shop has gained a bit of a reputation locally and I'm very grateful for that. Special thanks to you. Yes, you, the viewers, because your views and reactions help put my videos up there and help my shop's exposure as well. Anywho, as you can see, my shop is a mess. That's because we're working here. As you can see, this is the work area. This is my toolbox. Yes, I need to upgrade that, change that to a proper toolbox. This is my workbench, which is basically a table that I cut the legs off. And this is my tire changing machine. This has served me really well for the past year. And uh, yeah, it's a good brand. And here's, of course, my compressor. You need air, of course, to pump up tires. And here are all the bikes that we have here at the shop as of recording this. And uh, yeah, we'll go through all of these bikes. This is a XR200. We're currently working this, turning this into a supermoto and uh, changing a couple of things. This is a basically a brand new CR300L, which was converted to a supermoto in a very bad way. As you can see, those are spokes and rims for a moped. This is a KLX150L, which we just finished today, or as of recording this. This is a Iron Man theme, like red and gold wheels with the black spokes. Looks really nice. And this is a CRF150L, which is just being left here by my friend because he has no place to park his bike. And this is my XR600, XL600 hybrid project bike, which is still waiting for some parts. At the back of that is a 2001 Honda Africa Twin 750. Maybe you can help me with parts. And that is a 1984 Honda Reflex TLM200 trials bike, which is currently dead. And of course, my XL600, the 83 model, first year model. It still runs, but I have no time to ride. And here we have the CRF250 Rally that I will be talking about in this video. So here goes. This is a 2020 Honda CRF250 Rally that I bought used from a good friend who recently went on a epic trip on this bike. This bike currently has 22,000 kilometers on it and runs like a well-oiled machine, as how you would expect a Honda should. Most of the mods and fixes I have done to this bike I have discussed in a previous video, but I would like to highlight some of the good ones that we did and the new parts we installed as well. First thing we did was strip the bike off all the plastics and get everything cleaned. Next was to change the oil and filters for peace of mind. And since the plastics were off the bike, we inspected the spark plug and valves since this bike is within the required service range. Surprisingly, everything is still within spec, so we didn't do much in that area. Electricals are all good and so far no signs of gremlins. While at this stage, I decided to install a T4 Pro Pipe full system exhaust because the stock unit was too quiet for my taste. And it was restrictive and weighed a lot. One of the mods I did to this bike was upgrade the seat. Yes, prior in a previous video when this bike wasn't mine yet, I had the seat shaped by a friend of mine, namely Jerry of Revolt Cycles. We added more foam to the sides for better cushion on longer trips. Now another upgrade were these mid-bend fat bars on top of a 1-inch riser for added comfort and better control. To update the look, I changed the stock grips to these red ones that I had lying around. The one major modification that I did was change the rear wheel. The stock rear was a 2.15 by 18 alloy rim rolling on a 12080 Shinko E705 dual sport tire. The new rear tire or wheel, however, is a 4.25 by 17 rim rolling on a 150 by 70 17 tire. The reason why I went for this one is road cornering stability. The front wheel is still the stock 21, which is great for going over obstacles on and off road. Now, I also upgraded the spokes to thicker and stronger 8 gauge pieces for added peace of mind. For cargo, we got this tail rack, and for additional lighting, we have these Luxpro auxiliary lights. 
They're tiny, but they really light up the way at night. Lastly is the new graphics. I had a friend of mine who made these for me, and if you want to order a custom set of graphics for your bike, check the links in the description below. Now that's all I have for you today. This bike is basically ready for a long trip. I might take this out when the time permits, but it's also for sale. If any of you are interested, contact me in any of my social media accounts listed in the description below. So like and subscribe if you dig this one and leave a comment as well. As always, see you next time. Bye.